Hi, my name is Angela. I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. Um, in 2001, I was 24 and had a two-year-old when I found out I was pregnant. It all happened so fast. My lifestyle was not great back then, and I was in a, had an abusive boyfriend, and there was a possibility the baby could be someone else's or his. A part of me was afraid another child would interfere with my life. And I remember a friend had told me about getting an abortion, so I looked up in the phone book and found a place. When I arrived, there were so many girls there. While waiting to go back, I talked with the other girls in the waiting room. Everyone was just talking and laughing, and someone had several abortions. Before the procedure, I sat in a room with a lady who was counseling me. Seeing I was nervous, she kept reassuring me that what I was doing was okay and that it was not a mistake and that it wasn't a baby. When it was time to go back, the doctor never said a word to me, never even introduced himself. Um, when I turned towards the ultrasound screen that was over to my right, the nurse quickly turned it away so I couldn't see. The friend who was with me saw the ultrasound screen and said, oh look, it's a girl. I was 13 weeks pregnant. There was so much tugging and pulling, but I have not forgotten that sound. That sound has haunted me even to this day. Um, after the procedure was over, I went into a room with other girls laying on beds. It was so quiet. All these ladies who were previously loud and talking before were now in silence and in shock. I could not believe what had just happened. The ride home was quiet and the abortion was never talked about again. I pushed it so far back as if it never happened. Immediately after, I tried so hard to become pregnant, doing everything I could, desperately wanting to have a baby. I know that I thought in my mind it would fix what happened or replace the one that I had lost. I finally got pregnant with my son. Years went by and I covered up my pain with drinking and pills. I lived with 10 years in the secret, never telling anyone. I was living in denial. I had two boys, but since the abortion, I had such a hard time bonding with my kids. And every time I heard the word abortion, I would quickly try to get rid of it, get it out of my head. And finally, in 2011, I called a local pregnancy center and made an appointment to be post-aborting, do post-abortion counseling or try to help with pregnancy center. And um, they told me that, asked me if I had had an abortion before. And of course I said, well, yeah. And they said, well, um, have you had any healing for it? And I said, no, I'm fine. I don't need any healing. So they said, come on, let's talk about it and talk to somebody. So I went in and talked to the counselor and she had had an abortion. And so while talking to her, I was able to understand and really the first time talk about it. Um, I went through a post-abortion Bible study called Forgiven and Set Free. Going through this, the healing helped me to see that it was in fact a baby, that it had a heart, fingers, and eyes, and I named my baby Anna Elizabeth. And I was finally able to grieve a loss. God has forgiven me and has brought me healing in my life, and that is why I'm silent no more.